Sergeant Red's Gaming and Vintage Toys. Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we were going to go check out a collection. I had a gentleman reach out to me and say that um, basically his collection has gotten kind of out of hand and he wants to purge some of the stuff that he's no longer as interested in. So I'm going to swing out and uh, take a look at this collection and hopefully there's some stuff we can do to help him. A tree branch, the wind just blew it and it scared me. Startled. All right, let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're here with Greg. We're going to check out his toy collection here. He has got a bunch of old stuff. What did you say? Most of this is from the... 60s. 60s, probably. a lot of old 60s stuff. So we're going to turn the camera around and check it out. This stuff's cool. I'm going to try to buy some stuff. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, so we're going to start. What do, you, what do we say here, Greg? You got, um, what's that, Bop the Beetle? Uh, Bop the Beetle. Uh, uh, careful game. So you got a lot, you like the board games, and here I'll step in and shut this door mm -hmm. so we can see what's back here, but, so you're really big into the, like, marks, and you like the board games, and the pull string talking toys. Yep, yeah. So, these are a couple of, here's a couple of talking toys, and these are still in the boxes. This one you said, we looked at this one, this one was 83, right? Yep, And he's got to be from, what, the 70s, probably? Yeah, I'd say 64. All right, now this one's cool, you're talking, tell me about this, I thought it said Scooby-Doo, but it's Scooby-Doo, so... She was uh, the beatnik doll. For, they tried to go after laughing and stay with that. Yeah. But it didn't sell good because they didn't want their kids having a beatnik doll. They didn't think it was too... Um... And she works, right? Yeah, I think I can make her talk. She's got different hair. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, she's got different hair. But, uh, where's her string? There it is. Nice. So she, <laughs> yeah. What's it called? A ski bop? What's it called? They, that kind of song? Or they do that as a Scat. Scat. They call okay. It scat. Yeah. So you got a bunch of the old toys in here. Now, I like this Burger King guy. This is cool. You said this is a magic trick thing? Yeah, he did a magic trick. I didn't know that they had this king that back that far back. I thought he was newer, like from the 90s, but apparently not. In the 80s, so, I think. That's probably early 80s. So he does magic. I can make a Burger King Whopper disappear pretty quick. <laughs> I can change it into something else, but uh, <laughs> we won't go into that. So this is the newest stuff you have, right? These Kiss yeah. dolls. You just kind of pick those up along the way, you said? Yeah, those are some of the McFarland stuff yeah. when I was done that. So I liked this one here. You are showing me this... Um, yeah, time bomb. This time bomb game. Now, this is neat. So it's basically... Uh, here, you want to take like that a, out? It was like hot potato. Yeah, like hot potato game. And you pass it to each other. And it just, it just buzzes, right? Yeah, you pass it around. Everybody so, takes right, a turn. All right, we're gonna play a game of this here and see how it goes. Do and I have to? Do it, like, I can wait till I think yeah, it's gonna explode. Like, and you pass it back and forth. Whoever gets stuck with it loses. Are you right? This gonna, sounds like it's gonna stop. Oh, up okay. there you go. So I lost. <laughs> I won. We uh, beat you here. Now this thing. You got battleship. Now is this the original battleship? Yep. That's this is the, the very first, first one. one? They came up with. So. And, um, the women's lib ladies didn't like it that my, that the dad and son were playing the game. And they're, they're back there washing dishes. Well, mom and his sister were doing dishes, so they changed the cover right away. <laughs> and most of the games that came out after that had the different cover designs. It's crazy. That was 50s, right? Yeah, no, I think that's a, gee, late 60s, maybe early 70s. Maybe. Yeah. Then we got the Strum Fun guitar. Guitar. It ain't a yep. guitar. It's a guitar. By Mattel. Whoops. And it had changeable discs. So you put these inside here, and then you, whichever disc is in there, is we'll basically. Play that song. Yeah. And you said you can play like a real guitar as well, right? Yeah, you can tune the strings and play it just like a real guitar. That's cool. We got a lot of these clocks here because you like a lot of the clock games, right? The, the yeah, well, clocks. I started on the talking stuff, but then that clock was from my childhood too. The, the um. The Hubley one. Oh, creepy crawlers! This creepy is the one you put the like stuff. slime in it, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yep, you put the different uh, the goop in there, and you can make your own bugs. The little thing so it's like an easy bake oven for bugs. Yeah, the only problem was that these would burn you pretty good. It was a <laughs> dangerous toy. You, you speak from experience, I take it. <laughs> yeah, it a lot of kids got burned. And now that you were telling me, this is the I didn't even know Matchbox or Hot Wheels had a talking toy like this. Yeah, this is one of the first um, little. Uh, accessory kits you could get when the Hot Wheels came out. There's the, the talking service center. And, um. Check under the hood, sir. <laughs> Check under the hood, sir. And it still talks like 50 years later. I think it has to be That's 68. awesome, yeah. 
69. Then we have this is an entire case of uh, CNCs. It's still in the boxes, but unfortunately they don't work. Yeah, I think they came from someplace hot like Texas. And they just cook, and cooked the, them all. And yeah, that's the problem with the talking toys is um, they all were powered by a little rubber yeah. O-ring. And if it got, if it got toasted, right it was done. It. And then we got a bunch of board games here. But um, so we have the spy detector game. Now that's cool. The, the deal with this, this is the original one that came out. It's okay, same, so it went from lie game. detector to spy detector? Yeah, the same game by Mattel. I think this one's like 10 years newer. But what was neat is uh, the the little, all the different people. Yeah. The artwork is the same guy who did Mad Magazine. Oh, really? Okay. So that's why it's kind of collectible because mm, the Mad Magazine guy did um, the artwork on it. Yeah. I want to say I remember playing this. Uh -huh. Maybe it was a newer version of it, but I remember something similar to this yeah. when I was a kid. So we got... Talking puzzles. I was still collecting all the talking toys. So they had talking puzzles. You, you look at get. the art on these things, it's crazy. Like, look at the look at this kid. <laughs> yeah, and that's probably about 68, 66, yeah. I think. Yep. And collecting from there. I didn't even know they made talking puzzles. <laughs> yeah, learn something new every day that's yeah. what we were talking earlier and i was like i you know this is stuff that is not really in my wheelhouse but it's good to meet people that know this stuff and learn all this different stuff yeah, so that's, cool that's neat and like i said these games you won't see fish, fish bait, bait game that looks like you said this was the one that's um similar to what was it uh mousetrap right right similar to mousetrap the same guy invented mousetrap did these games they just didn't weren't as famous there was fish bait yeah and uh crazy clock crazy game. clock game this was the most fun game that was the best one crazy clock. Well, this poor guy he was just trying to take a nap and ah. and this is <laughs> what do they call this the reuben um a rube something machine i can't remember the name yeah, yeah the rubes machine well these all worked on that same principle that rubes machine or whatever it is you think that if I set this up in real life, do you think I can make like Red go bop out of the bed? Oh yeah, like, if she jumps. sleeps in, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll set this up in my house and I'll, I'll do it, and then my wife will go flying out of bed. <laughs> set the whole exactly thing. right. We'll just do that to scale. So set it up like in real life. So oh, got the more of the talking toys here. Yep, talking Garfield. Now with this sign here, you said this is you think is an original sign from Marks? Yeah, I think it's the original sign from. Um, Mark's Marlines. This is the um back when you would buy them. This is like the early sixties or late fifties. Mark's yeah. Marline. That's a car, and it was so they were advertising these kind of train cars. And um, like I haven't seen another one, and I just don't know about it. Yeah, I don't know anything about those. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's a reproduction or yeah, or could anything. be a repop, but I don't know. I somehow it looks don't think so it is. clean. You know? Yeah, it's got some dirty yellowing on it, though. Like, oh, know, yeah. around here, there's some a little bit. That's almost like a fiberboard? Yeah, it seems like a fiberboard. Now, you I also collect know. banks, right? Yeah. So, if you look up here, we have a bunch of, like, mechanical banks and things of that nature. <laughs> like, this one here, a hand comes out of. That Apple bank, I'm pretty sure I had something similar to that, where the worm comes out and uh, yeah. eats the coin. And the refrigerator banks. And then the coffee banks from A and P would give you those when you got the coffee. Yeah. Like the, the those ones. Now what's this fellow that's laying down here? Uh this was before Gumby and Pokey came out, the Bendy characters. Yeah. Lakeside look? came out with these ones first. Oh, okay. And there was For a cowboy or? Yeah, there was a cowboy and there was some Indians. Uh Lakeside, I believe it was the company that made them in it. They made these first, and then Gumby and Pokey came out and got famous, the Lakeside Company, after they after made that. Gumby and Pokey. Uh, creepy Crawlers, is that the, that looks newer. It's got a QR code. Is that something that you can use for? Yeah, to use in the Creepy okay. Crawler set. So yeah. someone made that, like, now right. for that. Yep, they made it now in the 2000s to use in the old equipment. We definitely have some neat stuff here, so... And you, you he showed me, as like, two totes, three totes, right, of, like, talking pull string... Yep, toys all and all the ones from the sixties, metal to pull string talking toys. And that's your that's your favorite thing you said. Yeah, I'm hoping to maybe hoping to fix some of them yeah. someday maybe. That's the one thing I've never really gotten into was was fixing up the toys, but yeah, toy repair. Yeah, all right, toy restoration. If you toy call it restoration, restoration. It's, it's fancier, and you could probably charge people more money to do it. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thanks for sharing your collection with us. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to negotiate with you and buy a couple of these pieces today. Yeah. I think so. We'll see. I like that truck up there too. That's cool.
Thank you.